hey and welcome back to a brand new video or welcome if you are new to my channel thank you so much for joining me today we are styling tonal outfits today i've got five or six outfits i think um to share with you ranging from different colors we've got black we've got gray we've got blue we've got creams browns all those kinds of shades i'm going to do tonal dressing and i'm going to share my tips for how i make tonal dressing work and how to make it a little bit more interesting than just wearing head to toe one color i'm going to share my tips with you as i show you the outfits so let's get going okay so the first outfit i went for all black it's a very obvious tonal look but it's something that we probably all have a lot of in our wardrobe we definitely have black top black bottoms a black pair of shoes maybe even a black coat so it's one that's really easy to do and let's be honest it's been done a million times but i wanted to start easy and i just wanted to show you how not every all black look is made the same so you might notice that there's different variations of black going on in my outfit so i've got black cashmere jumper which is you know textured it's quite soft it's a little bit chunky i've got this black um pleated skirt it's a lot more of a flat fabric it's a little bit um probably has a little bit of shine to it as well um, and then I have a black leather boot as well, so that even shinier again. So you can kind of see that the light reflects off these textures all a little bit differently. So if I was to just wear, um, you know, black top, black bottoms in the same fabric, it just wouldn't give any, um, just wouldn't give any depth to the outfit. So that's kind of what we're looking for is mixing textures so that we're getting that depth and we're still getting variety within the outfit. We're still getting a little bit of excitement, and a little bit of interest but while we're keeping the color the same. So that'll be my first tip is to look for different textures in your pieces so that you can mix and match these to create a little bit of visual interest. I have kind of gone for this same texture. It's both a knitted dress and a knitted cardigan. So for this one, my tip is to mix different shades of the same color. So I've gone for a light gray and a dark gray, a light gray and a charcoal. Um, and I think this play on that tone and look Again, if you did this with any other color, you'd probably see it a little bit more. So you could have like a light blue and a dark blue or a light pink and a dark pink, something like that. Um, but I think it still adds a lot of interest, but it still makes it really easy to style and really easy to pair together. And um, the only thing I would know is when you're mixing certain colors, and I might be able to show you later on in different outfits, is to pay attention to the undertones um, and whether something is cool or warm or kind of that in-between neutral shade because it can get a little bit tricky when you start trying to mix cool tones and warm tones but I think sometimes you can visually tell even if you don't know exactly that it's a cool tone and a warm tone you're trying to put together they can jar a little bit and that could be why so you can kind of see but you may not fully understand without actually thinking about it why they don't look right together so that's just something to pay attention. I don't have any grey shoes or accessories, so I just put on the same black boots again. But I think with this it kind of works because it's almost like that shade darker than charcoal. So we're kind of going light grey, charcoal and black. And I've just popped on a black handbag as well to tie the black into the rest of the outfit. Because I may have mentioned this a million other times, but when you put black in an outfit it can be quite heavy because it's such a solid colour. And it's nice to just anchor it. Um, somewhere else in the outfit to really balance that out. Okay, so we have a head to toe brown look here, which is one of my favorites in this video. I think brown, it's definitely trending at the minute. It's having its moment, everyone's wearing it, but it's also a color that is gonna stick around. It's quite timeless. At the same time, it is just a color. So as long as you're investing in pieces that are timeless within that color palette, or like say you're investing in maybe a tailored pair of trousers in brown, always gonna be quite classic and quite timeless um you know a brown cardigan never going to go out of style necessarily so that is a good way to do trends is to follow color trends if there are colors that suit you and colors that you enjoy wearing but my next actual tip other than that side note is to mix um pieces of different kind of styles so for example i'm wearing quite a slouchy knitted cardigan quite cool quite casual but i'm pairing it with a tailored pair of trousers which are a bit more kind of smart maybe business corporate kind of vibes um if they were styled with a blazer but styled with this cardigan it just adds that kind of nice contrast between not only the textures but also the styles so although we have that quite uniform color palette because they're only like a shade or two darker um or lighter or darker than each other we've got the 
juxtaposition of styles and juxtaposition of textures. So we've got visual interest going on, but we're also mixing, you know, more casual pieces with more tailored, um, formal pieces, I guess you could say. So that's a really nice way to keep that interest in an outfit. And you can do that with all outfits. It doesn't have to be the same color as well. But if you really use that idea of mixing different vibes together, um, it creates way more visual interest and way more just interest in general in an outfit. And it kind of also helps you to put your own personal spin on something because how you mix things together is kind of like your own signature. Next look is head to toe cream. And I absolutely adore this look. And I think what makes it super extra is the fact that I even have my shoes are cream and my coat is cream. So the whole look together um, really creates just a really obvious tonal look, a very intentional looking. So the next tip is to include your outerwear and your accessories, i.e. your shoes, in this kind of tonal vibe if you can. So where you have maybe a certain coloured coat, if you can really play that up, even if you have a navy coat and then you can style it with some navy knitwear or even some blues, kind of navies and blues can work really well together. So you have a navy coat, a pair of jeans, a blue jumper, and it still feels really tonal um, and feels really cohesive. Um, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say tonal in this video. Um, but yeah, I just think it's great when you can kind of even incorporate the shoes and everything. I think this looks really good. I think it just has more of an impact. So the more pieces you can get into your outfit, the better. Um, unless, of course, you're really forcing them to look good together. But I think this just looks um, like a really nice, easy outfit. Again, we've kind of got the juxtaposition of styles going on with like a sweater, but paired with a pair of really nice tailored trousers. We've kind of got that mix of um, fabrics as well, where this sweater is a little bit stiffer, um, but at the same time, like a more casual fabric because it's jersey, I guess. Um, and then we've got these more drapey trousers. So they add, they kind of dress up the look. And so not just the styles are different, but the fabrics are different. We've kind of got all of the tips going on in this one outfit. So we've got the juxtaposition of fabrics, we've got the mix and contrast of styles, and we've got the coat and the shoes as well, all tied in. And we've also got some slightly different tones. So where the trousers and jumper look quite close in color, this is a little bit of a different color. Um, it could be because it really needs a wash since last Christmas, but it still works because it's just a little bit off tone. So it's almost like a darker cream. So again, in this outfit, if I had maybe like an even darker cream or like a mushroom colored handbag, that could look really good paired with this. This is actually the only bag I have that I could possibly get away with this being somewhat tonal, but it's kind of just like a few, like a couple of, a good few shades darker. Um, but it's got the kind of mushroomy, creamy tone. So I think this works really well. And again, just keeping all the accessories included. Okay, this is less of a tip of how to do tonal and more why to do tonal. And it's when you want to look put together, go tonal or go as tonal as possible because it just elevates an outfit of a basic pair of joggers, a sweater and a pair of Converse. But I look chic, at least I think I do. I look elevated. I look like I've put thought into my outfit, even though I'm literally running to Tesco. I'm in my joggers. I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm in my tattered trainers, pretty bashed at this stage but I picked this color scheme and it just seems to make the outfit work. I've even got my cream hat. I got this last year when I kind of had my cream coat and I just wanted whatever I was wearing just to have a cream hat and a cream coat and then it would just kind of go together. Whereas before I think I had like a green woolly hat, which doesn't exist in my wardrobe anymore. And it was just like adding in too many colors and feeling less polished. I've talked often about, um, having like a three color rule in an outfit and how three colors, sticking to three colors per outfit can make it look a lot more refined and polished and elevated. And it absolutely can. Three colors, even two colors. But I feel like one color just takes this to the whole next level. And then I throw on this coat and yeah, I'm wearing a tracksuit, but I look, I look put together. So this is my best tip for you. Again, this could be an all black tracksuit with a black coat. This could be an all grey tracksuit with a grey coat, um, but it's not about the colour, 
it's more about the fact that it's all a similar color or at least very close shades of the same color. Okay, so when you can't go full tonal because you don't have enough pieces in your wardrobe for one color, I always find that something like a beige or a camel almost stands in as like a total neutral. So if you only have a top and bottom in one color, try throwing on um, a very neutral colored jacket or a piece of outerwear. So you could also go with a shade that's really close in color to what you're wearing. So for example, if my whole base outfit was black, but I didn't have a black coat, I could probably throw on like a, a gray coat and it would be quite close in color or I could throw on a navy because they're quite similar and quite close in color um, on the color wheel, quite close to each other on the color wheel. Um, I think then white and creams go really well with beiges and even some browns and some like lighter camels. Um, if you had a full brown outfit, you could throw on a camel or a tan coat. It doesn't necessarily need to be that perfect chocolate brown. Um, again, you might have a brown outfit and you throw on like a rusty kind of orange coloured coat because they're really close in colour on the colour wheel. So if you have a look at the colour wheel, I mean, who looks at the colour wheel when they're getting dressed? Let's be realistic. But if you want to pre-plan a couple of outfits, maybe have a look at a colour wheel, just Google it, look in your wardrobe and kind of just play around with things and see like what goes together. Um, so that's one way you're kind of, it's not necessarily tone on tone but it's um you're playing with relatives here you're playing with colors that are really closely related um and that is one way to do it there's no point going out to buy new items just to do tonal outfits if you naturally acquire things in your outfits into your wardrobe then great um then you know play with what you've got but really do play with what you've got and don't just feel like you can't enjoy this trend or enjoy this way of dressing because you don't have enough of a certain color. So see what is closely related and then see what you can do with that. And also don't be afraid to throw on a black accessory if you have to. So for me with this outfit, I've thrown on a black shoe, which probably means I'm gonna grab a black handbag as well. Now this doesn't necessarily look like the most tonal outfit of this video, but it is still like the base outfit is still tonal. When I go in somewhere and take off my jacket, it's gonna look even more tonal. And black, again, is just another one of those neutral shades. I'm sure a lot of us have black shoes and a black handbag. So if that's what we need to do to, to kind of dress this way, it's I guess maybe it's leaning a little bit more monochrome um, or like two-tone rather than tonal. But who cares? Just like have fun. It's not, there's no hard and fast like you rules. I didn't make this a rules video. I made it a tips video. So things to try to help you dress in like a more tonal way if that's if that appeals to you but these aren't rules you can you can definitely just play with things play around try some outfits on take some pictures see what works if it didn't work try something else the next time okay and my final tip is that yes denim counts as blue so if you have any kind of blue tops blue jumpers blue knitwear blue blouses even like a crisp blue shirt you can definitely do tonal dressing with a pair of denims so you can go for light denim, dark denim. I've kind of gone for the same color, but different shades of the same color. So it feels tonal. I could have gone for a light denim and it would have been a closer match to this blue, but I just kind of like playing up the different um, tones of this. And then this is the kind of perfect outfit that a navy coat would go really well with because it'd be like another, a slightly darker tone than these. So you kind of go in light, medium, and navy coat would be dark. Um, and then the black accessories would just be that one step darker again. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Again, I've just gone with the black accessories because who's got time to go find a blue handbag? Don't own one anyway. Could also go really neutral um, and go for like skin tones on my accessories. I could maybe have thrown on some skin toned shoes and then a lighter bag. It doesn't really take away from the rest of the tones because like I said, they're such neutral pieces. Um, but I don't have a navy coat anymore. I used to. Got eaten by moths. You know the story if you're a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, I would really appreciate if you enjoyed this video that you would hit that subscribe button because it really helps out my channel. It helps more people like you to find my videos who are hopefully going to benefit from 
my styling videos, capsule wardrobe videos, slow fashion videos, you know, not, I'm not shopping for the next year. So if you need any inspiration on how to stop shopping, how to enjoy your wardrobe as it is and not constantly adding more things to your wardrobe, then this is definitely the place to be. I've got 10 and a half months left on my no buy. So we've got a long way to go, but it's going to be a fun process. It's going to be a great journey. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this format. Um, I hope the audio is okay. I feel like I turned off my mic at one stage, so hopefully it's all right. Um, I hope you like the setup more kind of chat through the outfit as I'm wearing them. Let me know what you thought compared to previous ways I've edited videos like this. Um, and I'll talk to you all really soon in my next video.